<laughs> let's go man i don't know why i did that oh my yo my hair is whatever you guys can survive with my bad hair whatever okay so lloyd pierce has been fired which has been due for a long time for so many years. like honestly like being a hawks fan has been very annoying recently it's been annoying to be a lot of fans like celtics fan pacers fan actually were the Pacers even projecting to make the playoffs? I don't know, but project Pacers fans are projecting themselves to make the playoffs, and they had a very good start. Honestly, the only teams that are really happy right now are the 76ers and Knicks fans, which is... Oh, that's crazy. Non-Hawks fans do not understand how bad of a, of a coach Lloyd Pierce was. Like, it's... I, I This video might just be... I, I'm not even going to be really talking about about what's going to happen after for the Hawks. I might just talk about why he was such a bad coach. Like, it, it, it's insane. So, last year, Lloyd Pierce was a bad coach. And, and that wasn't even a question. And he also did so many frustrating things that didn't help the team. And really, it, I, I don't know. Like, one of the things that he did last year was play Vince Carter, like, every single overtime. That didn't make any sense. Because if we're a rebuilding team, why would we play this 42-year-old just because he's on a farewell tour? Like, why did Vince Carter have to be on our team? No, no disrespect, but like, it's like we weren't even really trying to rebuild. Because I'm pretty sure Cam Reddish wouldn't even play a lot of the, a lot of the overtimes. It was like Cam Reddish or Herder not playing, and it was just so annoying. And then I did see something on Twitter saying like, Lloyd Pierce was like, he he was in like the Heat's facility center, like practicing with them, like, and then there was there was no. I, I, how do they ruin a firing? This doesn't make any sense. Apparently, some of the Hawks players didn't even know ahead of time that their coach was being fired, and they had to learn from Woj. Like, what is this franchise? Also, Lloyd Pierce wasn't even using DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre Hunter had, like, the seventh best usage rate, which is horrible because he's easily, like, the second best player on the team. I, um, it's between him and Collins, but just because DeAndre Hunter's a good defender, a very good defender, I'm going to give it to DeAndre Hunter. This video has like had like no structure. I, I I'm honestly just ranting about the Hawks, and it, it's kind of my you know welcome back to YouTube video because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing. I I, I don't want to promise anything. I think I promised something last time, and I did not upload since like a month ago. So I'm just going to say I hope to keep uploading, cause not keep start uploading consistently. But yeah, this video was just kind of a rant video to start because I I am so happy Lloyd Pierce is gone. It's nothing. It's honestly nothing personal. Like I I like Lloyd Pierce. Not for what he does on the on the court, but as a person, I, I like Lloyd Pierce. But pretty much, if we're trying to win, we need a winning coach, and that's Nate Mc, Nate McMillan. So, this should have happened way sooner. If we would have kept rebuilding, I would have been fine with Lloyd Pierce, even if he was a bad coach. I'm like, okay, well, he's gonna learn, you know. But for now, I think he should he should just go to like assist a really good coach, like like Bud did, like. Maybe Eric Spoelstra. I don't even know who the assistant coach is for the Heat right now, but if you could be an assistant coach next to the Heat, maybe he'll be really good. I don't know in that position specifically, but I just nah. Those are my thoughts. The goal is to do daily re recaps from now on and do other videos during the day, or like like the daily recaps like at the very night, like Kenny and the Rusty Buckets doing blah blah blah, and then like a regular video, but not every day regular videos. But I'm gonna try to do everyday recaps. Except for, like, every other weekend I might take off. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, leave a like if you're a Hawks fan and are happy about this uh, coaching thing. And if you are not happy, comment below why you think Lloyd Pierce should have stayed. Uh, I'm starting to sound bored because uh, talking up about Lloyd Pierce is just giving me a headache. <laughs> I mean, talking down on him, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, peace.